Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about sorting our data. In our today's session, we will be discussing about filtering our data in Excel. Suppose if we want to filter our, our data based on any formats, how we can filter our data in Excel? Let's have a look on that. For that, first of all, let's go to amount over here. Right now, I do not have any conditional formatting provided over here. So let's just go to the arrow button over here. Click on number filters. If you will click on number filters, you'll be finding different options that is equals to, does not equals to, greater than or greater than equal to. I want to filter all the data that is greater than and equal to 1000. And if I click on OK, all the data that is greater than and equal to 1000 will be filtered over here. This is what filtering is. Okay, if you want to remove the filter, just clear filter from amount. Just click on clear filter from amount and your filter will be cleared. Similarly, if I go to date as well, in the date section also, if I click on this arrow, we have date filters, which tells us uh, dates from, let's say, this week. So this week's dates are these and all the data from this week has been filtered. Very helpful when it comes to budgeting or when it comes to displaying the ongoing patterns of your data with the current date or current weeks. And again, if you want to remove it, just click on clear filter from date. Uh, similarly, for the category as well, we can filter the data. Text filters are there equal to not equal to something that begins with something that ends with something that contains something does not contain something or you can create a custom filter for yourself. Suppose if on amount, again, if I provide any conditional formatting, like I want to highlight the values which are greater than 999. Okay, so here are the values which are greater than 999 and I have these values over here. Suppose if I click on this and if I want to filter the data by color, I can filter the data by color as well, like filter by cells and automatic option is also there. Now suppose if I press Ctrl Z and I have another conditional formatting that is provided for the cell, let's say we go to amount and let's choose the column once again. Let's say we go to amount again, if we go, go to top to bottom rules this time and I want to see the bottom 10% or bottom 10 items. Okay, I want to fill these color, fill it with a green color and let's say okay, instead of this i'll just take bottom five items okay now if i click on this again we can filter by color and you can choose the fill automatically so suppose if you want to filter the color uh, filter the data with the green color or the pink color of your cell or the green text color of your cell so you can choose that too suppose if i choose this it would show me all the bottom five elements so you can filter based on color you can filter based on values highest values lowest value equal to value value that contains something Based on anything, you can filter your data. Even in the payment mode, if we go to the payment mode, we can provide multiple levels of filtering. Text that contains C. So cash and credit card, they both contain C. That values will be filtered. So now there are levels of filtering. First, amount is filter and then the payment mode is filter based on what previous filter was there. I hope after this session, this is clear how we can filter our data based on our requirement. The filter can be provided on date, it can be provided on category, amount or even if you have a list as well, we can provide the filter on the list as well. In our next session, we will be discussing about how we can deal with the null values. So suppose if we have null values in our data, how we can deal with it in Excel, not in Power Query Editor right now. In Excel, if we want to deal with our data, with our null values, how we can do it, we'll be discussing about it in our next session. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session.